Okay, welcome to the fifth of the uh, tutorial series in iMachine 2. If you haven't already seen the previous videos, I'd recommend having a look at them because a lot of this will seem a little bit confusing. We're looking at creating these patterns uh, or rather uh, combining these patterns into what we call scenes. I've got these patterns along the top here, number one, number two, number three, and number four. I've basically got different material recorded into each of these across these three instruments, A, B, C, and D. Um, in previous videos, we looked at how to change the types of instrument, whether it's a pad instrument or a keyboard instrument or whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight pattern one on each scene and just click on the mixer button at the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to mute channels B, C, and D and just demonstrate the sounds I've got on channel A. So this is pattern one. Just a very simple one. And then pattern two just adds the backbeat as the two and four. One, two, three, four. Just that snare drum sound or clap sound. Pattern three. Just a bit busier, adding a bit more material. And then number four. Okay, so you can see how it's one idea that just gets built on gradually. Okay, let's mute channel A and have a listen to channel B. This is a keyboard instrument. It's a, namely a bass sound. Okay, it's just a matter of um, recording onto the keyboard. Again, see the previous videos for that. Okay, this is pattern two. three you see I'm, I'm using the two keyboards here get that octave sound now that C2 there at the top right hand corner there that's the octave I just moved it down for this particular one because I wanted really low bassy sounds there okay so let's have a listen now to instrument C. This I believe is a piano. No, it's a string sound. So if I play number one, it's it's literally just that little falling string sound, which on its own is 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 not much. Okay. Um, so pattern one on its own, and then it does it again, and that's it. That's pattern one. And pattern two is even less, actually. So there's nothing, 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 all the way until right at the very end. And that's it. Pattern three is a pattern, but it's just empty. There's nothing recorded. Let's have a listen to D. Okay, this, is, I believe, is a keyboard sound. Yeah. So I've used the chords button there, where you can play one key and several chords play uh, several notes play at once to give you a chord again that's addressed in the previous video okay this is pattern two different feel a bit more rhythmic okay this is three again just playing one note at a time but it's playing three now for four I changed the type of chords I went for a major chord rather than minor chords and as you can see it it sounds very different Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to unmute everything and I'm going to show you how these things sound together. So if I just pick pattern one from each of the four channels, um, I'll show you how they sound combined. So this is pattern one from each of the instruments. There's that falling string sound. You'll notice this is looping round, uh, just next to the uh, stripey thing where the line is going across. Um, that stripey thing is our scene, and just to the left of it, that's the loop button. We'll come to that later. Okay, let's pick pattern two across each of our instruments. It sounds like this. So you see how the drums playing the snare drum or the clap on two and four really lifts it.
the string four works quite nicely at the end as well. Okay, and next we'll go on to pattern three across the three instruments A, B, C, and D. Okay, now instrument C doesn't actually have um, a pattern here, it's just it drops the string four thing. I think you can hear that it wouldn't fit really here anyway. And you can have too much of a good thing as well. Okay, and finally, let's have a listen to number four. So if you remember, I used more major chords on the keyboard. Um, so it's going to have a very different feel. Okay, so it's more of a jazzy feel, a little bit more um, positive sounding perhaps. Okay, so we can swap between the different instruments and swap between the different patterns and swap between the different pages. But it's actually quite difficult, but what you can do is create new scenes. So if you press plus, what happens is it just copies across what you have. Once you highlight your new scene and you create it, your new combination of patterns, you just tell it to play different patterns while it is highlighted. Okay, so as you can see what I'm creating here, scene one plays just pattern one across the four instruments, scene two, pattern two, scene three, pattern three across the four instruments, and then scene four plays pattern four across all of them apart from C that doesn't have a fourth pattern, if you follow. Okay, so what happens now is um, I can take off the loop button uh, that we mentioned earlier, and it will just play from one to the next. This is a so this could be the introduction, say, that goes to the next scene. And there's our snare drum, and the, the beat just sort of drops, and it's the whole thing lifts. And then to the next one, and you'll notice it's keeping time, it's just moving from one section to the next. There's our contrasting section. And then back to the beginning. Okay. Okay, and you can keep adding these as much as you like. So you just press the plus button. And whatever you've got highlighted will then be added, as you can see there. Okay, um, and if you want to get to the end, you just sort of swipe across and then you can add and keep adding as much as you, lo as, as you like. And you just create the, uh, um, a combination that works for you. Okay. So um, we can delete these things. Um, pull down, you'll copy it across, but swipe up and you can just get rid of these scenes. That's all you can do. And this all goes dead easy. Right. What though, um, if you would rather use this in a more of a live performance way? Well, I'll just uh, select pattern two for this second scene. And what you can do is you can use it as a like a, um, a pad in launch pad. So I've got that one selected, push the next one, and it goes straight across to it again in time. And back again. And back again. Okay. Now just changing like that can be a bit vulgar. So we're gonna look at how to use some effects and some of the other stuff on the mixer page in the next video. Cheers.